Hi, I hope you can see this okay. So here's the uh, a new function I've just written for SiteCalc. It's the reference line. Uh, so what it is, is basically works out uh, coordinates along a line or an arc. So you pick the first point, I've already got a point saved in. Point 1, so you type it all in again. Point 2. Obviously if you haven't got them saved into the menu somewhere, you can type them in directly, you don't have to save them. Okay, we'll leave it at straight for the moment. So we'll say that we want every 10 meters. Uh, we won't have an offset, and we won't have a crossfall on it. Just generate just in a straight line. So there you go, it generates a, a list of coordinates along that line. Uh, you know, it's on the uh, coordinate list now. It also includes the bearing distance from the current setup. If you haven't got a setup set in there, then it won't show it. And you don't necessarily have to use it. So this point, so you swipe to go back. Now uh, let's say that there were that was actually an arc. So you put in the uh, seventy-seven point one three two. Say is the radius. Now I'll show you the chord length and the arc length around that, and then the center coordinates of that. Uh, of that it's got to be in a clockwise direction. Once again, so say we're intervals ten again. Let's say we're setting out a road in the offset that this time is say 3.5 meters and the fall is 1 in 40. Obviously, if you're setting and <coughs> the offset is 3.5, it's positive, it's to the right. If you wanted a, an offset to the left, just put a negative number in. And the fall, once again, if it's a, a cross fall and you've only got the center line, you might want to put that as 1 in minus 40. So, once again, generate the coordinates. A point every 10 meters around the arc, offset 3.5 meters to the right, at 1 in 40 below it.